Hey guys, it's Rachel of Fit29 and today we are bringing you a 10 minute hit beginner bike workout. So if you've got a bike at home that you haven't been using, get on it today. You're going to burn some calories in 10 minutes. Stay tuned for this video. <laughs> All you're gonna do is pedal fast for one minute and then that second minute you'll slow down and you'll switch speeds throughout the duration of the 10 minutes so that's where you'll get that component of the hit part for the workout so high speeds one minute low speeds the next one minute make sure while you're on your bike you're keeping your core nice and tight keep your posture straight and you're pedaling fast for that first one minute so Whenever you slow down, you'll obviously decrease your speed. <laughs> and you can play whatever music you like during this 10 minute. The whole point is just to make sure you get moving. If you're in a Fitbit challenge with your friends, this is a great way to get steps in. That way you can be the leader on the leaderboard each week. I know when I do challenges with my friends, doing other workouts, aside from when I walk around at work, helps me to be able to keep going and going and going. First one minute mark so now we're entering going into minute two and this is where we're on the decreasing speed of the workout so as I was saying earlier you can listen to whatever music you want you can do this workout literally while you're watching TV I'm sure you can hear the football game in the background and it's just a great way to get moving and do exercises while you're just being lazy <laughs> and that also helps you to be able to get your heart rate lower from the high speed that you did whenever you're on that decreasing of speed. So again, same thing as when we're on the high speed, you wanna make sure that you're pedaling at a, at a decent speed level, keeping that core nice and engaged, keeping your back straight, and just maintain that same speed. You can check your heart rate at this point. Most bikes do have a portion where you can check your heart rate and then we'll speed back up once we go into that minute three. All right, so now you've finished your first interchanging of going high and low. We're back entering minute three. So we're at a high speed right here. And really all you're gonna do throughout this 10 minute workout is going high, low, high, low. You'll do that for the duration of 10 minutes. Remember each at the one minute mark, you'll hear a ding and that'll tell you when to change speeds. And again, it's pretty simple. Keep that same transition phase throughout the workout and you'll be good to go. All right, keep it up guys, almost done. Seven minutes to go. Again, same thing, keeping that core nice and tight, pedaling fast. If you need to work on your breathing, breathe in heavy, blow out, and you'll be just fine. <laughs> All right, we're about to decrease going down into minute four. And here we go, and three, two, one, transition. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now on that low phase of the workout so once you finish that first one minute you'll decrease speed pedaling slower and similar to what we did in the first one minute you want to keep that core nice and tight this part helps you to like get your breath back you know and get your sweat in and be able to keep going throughout the rest of the workout so again keep that back straight and you just want to make sure that you're keeping great posture throughout your pedal <laughs> All right, keep it going again. This is the lower speed part. Just helps you get your breath back and get ready to go when we increase speed. And you'll hear a ding at the one minute mark that lets you know, all right, I gotta bring that speed back up and keep it going. Almost done. All right, pick it back up on that high speed, whatever resistance level you're at. Again, I'm at resistance level seven. Just wanna keep it going. We're back keeping that core nice and tight. Our back is straight and you got it. Pedaling through, pedaling strong. Do not stop. If you feel like at any point you do have to stop, just slow it down, but do not get off of your bike at all. Just keep going, all right? All right, keep it up. Keep pedaling strong. We're halfway through the workout at this point. Keep it up. Make sure you do have water next to you when you do slow down. That way you can hydrate in between each session. And keep it going. 15 more seconds, everyone. Right. 
Here we go. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now we're back on the low portion for the workout. I just wanted to let you guys know that the resistance that I'm on is seven. So whenever I'm high, I'm on resistance seven. That's why I'm getting so tired. And then I'm keeping that same resistance whenever I slow down. So you can do whatever resistance level you like, just as long as you're hitting those one minute marks of going high and low for the full 10 minutes. Do not stop. If you do feel like at a point when you're on the high speed that you're getting too tired, it's okay to slow it down a bit, but don't get off that bike for that 10 minutes. The whole point is to do this 10 minutes completely without stopping. And so again, choose whatever resistance level you like. I know sometimes for beginners, you don't, some people will overachieve. You don't want to do that. It's okay to start where you're at and then increase as time goes on. All right, we're almost done on the slow portion. We're going to go into our next one minute. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, keep it back up. High speed again. Another one minute. If you're feeling tired, just keep going. Think about those calories you're burning and do not quit. All right, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep going, almost done. A few more minutes left of the whole workout that it is. A few more seconds left of this one minute part. All right, 15 seconds. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and turn it down. All right, we are, a, we are on a decrease of speed now. We only have three more minutes left to go. Push through everybody, you are doing great at this point. Again, change up your resistance as you're going through this workout. If you feel like being at a high resistance is too much, go back lower. You wanna make sure you're keeping that core nice and tight. Keep that back posture amazing and just keep pedaling. Those low portions help you to get your heart rate back together. That way you can turn it back up whenever you're on those high portions. So you're doing great and keep it going. We're almost done. All right, 15 seconds left. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, turn it up right here. High speed, this is our last high speed. We are at minute nine. Keep it going. Keep that core nice and tight. Posture is great. You're on your last two minutes of the workout. If you made it this far, do not stop at this point. Keep going, keep going. You'll hit that one minute mark and you'll be like, wow, this was an easy workout. I can do it after all. <laughs> all right, keep pedaling. Don't go slower. All right. If you feel yourself getting tired, don't quit. All right, we've got 15 seconds left. 15 seconds. All right, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. In five, four, three, two, one, decrease. Now I'm decrease. This is your last one minute. So use this point, use your heart rate, slow it down, keep pedaling, turn down, turn down that resistance if you need to, but do not stop. You're almost done with the 10 minute hit beginner bike workout. All right, keep it going. Take deep breaths. Regulate that heart rate. Here we go, almost done. All right. Fifteen seconds. Don't stop at this point. You're almost done. And five, four, three, two, and one. Done. All right, everybody, you made it through the beginner 10-minute hit bike workout. 
I hope you enjoyed this workout. And as always, stay tuned for more 59 workout videos. We'll see you next time.